need to rest in a relationship. All growth emanates from a place of rest. Physical growth emanates from a place of rest. Psychological growth emanates from a rest. Well, what do we mean rest? Well, we now know that our work as humans is the work of closeness, of contact, of attachment. That's our work. And so the default setting is to make relationships work, to try to hold on to mommy and daddy, to try to preserve the connection to peers and so on. For that to be released, for a child to be released, to move on to becoming their own person, for that to be there, somebody has to take responsibility. Children must never work for our love. They must rest in it. But unless the relationship is there, they cannot rest in it. We have gone to a practice of, of parenting and teaching that makes them work for the contact and closeness, that puts them in charge of the relationship. I can't be your friend if you're going to be like that. Uh, off to your room. I withdraw the invitation to exist in my presence until you come into line. And we make them work at keeping us close. Well, we might get more compliance, but we get a deeply restless child. And we're giving rise to a whole generation of children who are restless to the core. They do not rest. Our yearning as parents and teachers, our yearning as grandparents, our yearning as uncles and aunts, where for our nephews and nieces, whatever it is, but as parents, is our yearning should be is to give them rest. Because when we can give them rest, when they can rest from working at keeping us close, when we take that alpha position and we say, I am the one who is going to make sure that nothing, honey, nothing can separate you from my love. You can rest in it. When we do this, when we don't withdraw, withdraw our affection or our invitation to exist in our presence when there is a problem, when they, when they are at rest, their developmental destiny will unfold. Their growth will become spontaneous and automatic. I always know when I see a child who is, who is truly growing up, becoming mature, adaptive, emergent, and integrative a being, I know that somewhere in their life, someone, an adult, has, is being able, someone the child is attached to deeply and vulnerably, has been able to give them rest, has been able to, to provide them what they need. Rest is absolutely essential. One of the ways of giving a child rest is to make sure that we provide more than what is they need. You hear sometimes people say, well, don't pay any attention to him. You know, all he wants is attention. Well, what, is that? what else is there to want? And if we see a child who wants attention, why wouldn't we give it to them? Why wouldn't we meet these basic needs of affection, of attention? of mattering, of significance. The fact is, is we must provide more. Those of you who have heard me speak or read in the a book, I share this example of Tamara, my oldest now. I think she's 37. She's here. I won't ask her. Um, she, uh, she's seven years of age. She was bright then. She still is. And we had this little interchange, this little I love you thing. She said to me, Daddy, I love you had that question mark in the back. It's meant to get an I love you too. It's like a little hook, you know, fish, and you send it back with the, you know. So I said, I love you too. And then there, there was this moment of pregnant silence. And she says to me, in childish wisdom, Daddy, if you really loved me, you would have said it first. <laughs> the males here will recognize this as female uh, logic. But it's true. It's true. Now, it didn't mean I had to say it first, but it meant that she was in charge. Do you see that? She was in charge. I needed to seize the lead. Oh, Tamara, I've got, I had to have a bigger I love you. Or I had to, something I had to trump. It had to be trumped. You always have to give more for there to be relaxation. A person comes and asks you for a hug. Well, here's a hug. No, I need a hug. Here's a hug. Uh, doesn't work. Why? How do you release a hug? You have to hug harder. That's always the way it is. The role of the parent is to give more than what is pursued. That is the only way a child can rest.